The idea right now, Loida, just to briefly, is just to summarize the center of the Gandhi already. Just to summarize whether you have a proposal uh, to President uh, Noino Aquino. Uh, Okay. Uh, and you were supposed to do a book anyway. Uh -huh. Get the Oh, I'm upset. Okay, I'll wait for you. That's why we have to follow it up with as much interview as we get. We update that. We update the, the previous wow, one. This morning they were all together. At 79. One time, about 79 or 80 online. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're getting Yeah, so. that's wonderful. This is Robert Posadas welcoming you to another edition of uh, the Unifiers. Here, we trust, we verify, and unify message and medium via the efficiencies of the World Wiser Web. And that's our general intent. But right now, our specific intent is to get a summary on whether Loida Nicholas Lewis has a, a proposal on good governance, uh, social and economic progress as a result of the uh, recent Global Pinoy's Conference here in the Philippines. So Loida, can you summarize whether, if any, you have a proposal on good governance, uh, society and uh, and economic progress for the Philippines? Well, so the U.S. Pinoy's for Noy Noy Mar, U.S. Pinoy's for good governance, we transform it now for good governance. We met here in Manila, July 1 and 2, and we had the, also the blessings that President Noy Noy met with us, you know, just for 15 minutes, photo opportunity. Well, out of that convention, there were two things that we sort of want to present to President Noy Noy. The first one is to take advantage of the goodwill he has with Filipinos overseas. You know, in fact, Dr. Hill Ramos calls us and 11 million Filipino overseas, the Filipino overseas nation. Because with 11, 10 million, we are like any other country, you know, of 10 million people. So what we want to maximize is President Noy Noy's goodwill and ask the Filipino overseas to lend money to President Noy Noy to pay down foreign debt. Okay. The interest will be 7.5%. So if, if you buy, uh, it's buying in dollars, but payable in pesos. Okay. So that if we buy $100 in dollars, it will used to be paid down $100 in debt. But 10 years later, we will receive $200, 200 no, $100, let's say it's equivalent to, to 50, that's 5,000 pesos. At the end of 10 years, we get 10,000 pesos back. So, borrow, pay, uh, lending President Noy Noy, meaning the Philippine government, $100, but paying us back, back 10,000 pesos. Uh, no. 5 plus 5 is, uh, take a 500, 100 dollars is given to 5,000 pesos, paying us back 10,000 pesos at the end of 10 years. Oh. Parang ganon. Okay. Oh. So, yun ang tinatawag, gusto kong tawagin natin yung Pinoy Bonds. P-Noy Bonds. All right. Which is the president uh, name that he wants to be called P apostrophe Noy. I think that's great for the Philippines because in the sense, that the dollars stays in the Philippines, yes. not being a burden as a uh, government uh, uh, dollar uh, debt. debt. Yes. Exactly, Good. that's the idea. So. If we pay our own, uh, the, the, the debt of the Philippine government through our dollars, then that's a big saving for the Philippines oh, yeah. because I think we're paying 9, 10, 11%, 12%. Uh, so that in itself is a stimulus towards uh, uh, social uh, aspects of the uh, of the proposal? Well, in the sense that we will not be using dollars to pay the debt because it's going to be payable in pesos, then we have less uh, interest payments to pay. We have more money to build infrastructure, to build schoolhouses, to build roads, to build okay. uh, homes. You know, imbis na ang babayaran mo, bibili ka ng dollar, panabayaran yung ating dollar debt. 
dahil sa ang bayad nito peso, hindi na tayo dapat kumuha pa bumili pa ng dollars. Yeah. So in that sense, it becomes a social investment instead of a business or economic investment yes. because the government doesn't expect any return on it. So if they even if they expect a return on it, they still have to convert it to dollars. Then it itself uh, is an disadvantage. Yes, exactly. So it becomes a social progress. Yes. Uh, Ang ibig ko sabihin, tayong mga Pilipino abroad. Okay, tutulungan natin si President Noy. Bayaran yung utang. So ang may utang sa atin, ang, ang gobyerno. Okay. Ang bayad ng gobyerno, pesos, hindi na dollars. Uh -oh. So uh, lastly, is this anything, uh, I, I can see some difference from the proposal of, the three-point proposal of, uh, of uh, Eddie Ramos. And Eddie Ramos, I gather, is uh, the chairman emeritus of NAPA in the, in the East. No, Eddie Ramos was a former chairman of Florida lang. Uh, I mean, Florida. you know, it's one region. Okay. Okay. The Feder the, uh, emeritus were those that may become president of the nation, national NAFA. So, Alex Esclamado is one. I am an, uh, the second one. Alma, Alma Kearns of Seattle is the third one. So far, we have had only three presidents. The fourth one is Greg Macabenta. He is the current okay. president, or tawag natin national chair. Okay, who came up with the original uh, idea of uh, uh, giving, uh, uh, investing in the Philippines in dollars and then paying back in pesos? Okay, this is a, the idea of Professor Hill Ramos. Uh, okay. He worked with uh, with our uh, with, with Marcos even, but you know it was too difficult to live in the Philippines during okay. that time. So he is a PhD. Right. He is a professor in New Jersey, and he has been thinking of how do we help President Noynoy. So now, with 19 billion remittances of Filipino overseas to the Philippines, it helped us a lot. So sabi niya, bakit hindi natin humingi pa, ay not humingi, uh, humingi ng tulong. Okay? Siguro sa tulong ng mga Filipino overseas, kahit mapawasan natin ng 1 billion dollars ang ating utang. Okay? Ang dami ng savings noon para sa Filipinas. Okay, we have to admit that's a brilliant, uh, well-thought-out idea of, uh, you know, the dollars versus uh, peso payment. And uh, so, I mean, uh, why not? Summarize it a little bit, then we end up the interview. Okay, so the other one, that's the first okay. one, okay? Going to the USP noise. The other one is our proposal for how to have transparency in the Philippine government in terms of its money. Okay, so... Merong ipopropose kami kay Cesar Purisima na a sort of software okay, that will facilitate and, and be transparent kung anong pera ang pumapasok, nagbabayad ng taxes, kung sino ang binibigyan yan sa mga different agencies, kung paano nagagastos yan, lalo na sa mga pork barrel ng mga senators at congressmen, paano nila nagagastos. Lahat yan pwedeng nasa internet. Okay, so okay. that will have very much good governance. Right. Wala nang, you know, hindi pwede kang magtago, hindi mo pwede ano, kasi naka, nakasulat sa internet kung sinong kumuha, kung sinong binagyan ng pera, kung, kung para sa ano, gano'n. Okay. Good. So, okay. So, there you go. Uh, an interview with uh, Loida Nicholas Lewis on uh, their proposal uh, to recommend to President Aquino on good governance and social and economic progress in the Philippines. Again, Robert Posada is here thanking you, advocates of lovers of freedom, peace, and prosperity. And so do join us again in another edition of the Unifiers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sure you're, thank you. Sure I'm part of it. Uh -huh. yeah. That's yours with a P. <laughs> thank you. Yeah.